You guys really wanna know, what is my workout routine? How do I stay so fit when traveling the world full time? And the reason for these uh, questions, I guess, is because of these photographs. And you keep asking, Photoshop, 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 real? Photoshop, Photoshop, real. <laughs> Yes, so really. That's really <laughs> probably the most sought after video ever that I've had. You guys keep asking, but I cannot work under these conditions. Excuse me one second. Yeah, I know what you guys are thinking. Damn, that girl's talented. I know, it's true. Honestly, I think I'm just trying to be funny because by the end of this video, there's not gonna be anyone here. <laughs> Gosh, where are you going? Step one, carry heavy weights. On a weekly basis, I carry around a lot of weight. I carry it through airports, I carry it on scooters, I carry it through cities, I carry it everywhere with me. It comes in the form of a backpack, of course. <laughs> Step two, be self-absorbed. <laughs> I hope you guys find this video funny. So I love taking an advanced selfie. When I'm out on the road, I like capturing moments, myself in the picture. And I know when you look at these photos, you're probably thinking, wow, so relaxed, blissful, so calm and easy. <laughs> However, this is the truth behind the photo. I pose, 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 yes darling, and then I run! <laughs> there is a very small window of time when I have really good lighting, so I shoot like crazy. By the end of it, I've been running like a maniac, I've hardly been breathing, and I'm sweating like a b But we don't need to ruin the illusion of these beautiful photographs now, do we? Step three, my workout. Whenever I can, I try to hit the gym. Ow! <laughs> I love me a bit of a run, a bit of an arm bendy dumbbell thingy, some squats, some sit-ups, some stretches, of course, and all the other workouts that my trainer, Adrian, advised. Food time! As for the food I eat, I know what a lot of you guys are gonna say. How on earth do you stay away from the delicious food everywhere? I put on like 10 pounds when I'm traveling. Well, I get it. I have moments like this too, especially Eastern Europe. I'm a real sucker for that food. It's in my blood. It's in my DNA. This is like cocaine for me. <laughs> But honestly, I don't know if you've realized, I'm a little bit crazy and kooky and I don't really need to mix junk food into the mix. Hmm? Furthermore, my emotions get um, a little bit unstable and scary whenever I eat uh, really unhealthy. My mind doesn't cope very well with that. I mean, I only become slightly unstable. <laughs> really, really nothing major. <laughs> like just a tiny little bit. <laughs> so basically for my sanity, I have to eat as healthy as possible. <laughs> Living on the road full time really means that you just love the simple things in life, which is cooking. And for a person that doesn't even like cooking, I miss it. And whenever I get the chance to do it, I'm cooking because eating out all the time may sound glamorous at first, but it really isn't. And with sugar, I think it's the worst of worst. I kind of train myself to not like sugar. Honestly, cut out sugar for about 30 days and your cravings are gonna almost diminish completely. Sugar is more addictive than cocaine. So so if you're always craving it and you're always feeding it to yourself, including pasta and bread and all that delicious stuff, you're just gonna keep craving it. And the final bomb you've all been waiting for, and the reason that uh, you're probably all gonna unsubscribe now. Huh. Basically, I'm naturally very toned. <laughs> I have abs basically nonstop, whether I work out or not, whether I'm in a healthy spike or I'm not. So yeah, that's the end of my YouTube career. Um, thanks YouTube. It's it's been great. Um, mom, 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 can you subscribe to, to my channel, please? Because, because I have no subs subscribe. Mom, 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 hello, mom. Hi, interruption of the broadcast. Um, I was sitting editing this video on the plane and I noticed that this video is extra kooky. Now I know I'm weird, but I wanted to figure out what the hell was going on. <laughs> Turns out I think I was overcompensating with my humor because I am so nervous to put this video out. And I think it's my hangups about this whole body shape situation. And I just don't like putting too much focus on the body shape or body image or that all that kind of stuff that we're dealt with all the time anyway. So specifically, I really wanted to keep this video more about health and fitness, but it still made me nervous because my whole life Life, I've kind of been a target for women that don't feel good about their bodies and touching on the topic and saying that you know I'm naturally 
toned and stuff makes a lot of women very uncomfortable because I know they deal with their own stuff and it's hard for a lot of women to be toned. It's just different body shapes and I think we first have to acknowledge that everyone's got a different body shape. Hallelujah. Thank goodness. Otherwise it would be so boring if we had the exact same body shape. Secondly, you know that no matter what you do with your body, you're never going to feel good enough because we're constantly bombarded by the media or friends or family telling us that we're not good enough. And I think the only time you start feeling good about yourself is when you block out everything else and you start concentrating on yourself and concentrating on nurturing your beautiful body that gets you through life. The beautiful thing we call life. And I underplayed it in this video because I was just kind of like, haha, it's by accident. But I actually do put so much effort into looking after my body. My body is my priority because I want it to be healthy because it deserves it. It breathes without me having to ask it. My heart beats without having to ask it. And I think we should all just be so happy that we have a body <laughs> and just give it what it deserves. And okay, so maybe you don't have uh, abs or whatever. Uh, maybe you can't get abs because your body shape just it doesn't allow it. But that just, is that so bad? That ain't a bad thing. Not everybody likes abs, you know? In 1950s, uh, people wanted curves and I didn't have curves. So they'd be looking at me thinking like, that woman is butch. <laughs> and on that topic, yes, everyone, everyone has their own hangups. I was bullied for being way too skinny apparently. And then I bullied myself because I believed that being muscly was not a female thing. And I thought you had to be delicate to be a like proper female. Yeah, I did that. So I just wanted to cover this uh, because I really, really am nervous about this topic. Yes, it's health and fitness based, but I'm sure that people will still be judging my body shape, the fact that I was born like this and I'm, I, my metabolism is fast. I don't know. Maybe I'm just, maybe I'm just overanalyzing, but I'm nervous. Mm. Anyway, guys, you guys are brilliant. You know that I advocate body positivity and queens and kings everywhere. I think we're perfect the minute we acknowledge that we are and we just stand tall and proud. <sighs> Returning to the original ending, too late to change it now. I'm in LA, I just landed and I'm about to go see Shan Booty. But I wanted to make sure that I include this in the video because I wanted to make myself feel better, I think. I don't know. Okay, bye. All by myself.